In today's video, I'm going to use the paper burn transition. To do so, I will use these two videos, video A and video B. First, I will drag and drop both footage into my timeline. Footage A will be on top of footage B. Now, I'm going to adjust the duration of my video and then decide on the moment I want the transition to take place. Then I will go to the transition folder. As you can see, all of the transitions have previews, which will save me a lot of time deciding on the right one. I think the paper burn number one is a good choice for this scene. So I'm gonna drag and drop it into the timeline and then adjust its position based on my footage. Let's see how it looks now. Good, it's all right, but it has some rough edges that need to be addressed. So I'm gonna select footage A, find the track map key effect from the effects panel, and then drag it onto footage A. Since my transition is positioned on the V3 line, I'm going to the effects control and then change the matte option to video three. Yes, it looks much better now, but what is missing is the flames. To bring the flames back, I'm going to duplicate the transition by holding the Alt key and then dragging the transition up one line. I will change the blending mode of transition to screen. And that did it. The transition now looks fluid and perfect. Now we're going to do the same thing inside After Effects. Again, I'm gonna drag and drop two footage into my timeline and adjust my footage in the timeline to be in line with the transition I want to use. Now, inside the paper burn transition, I'm going to choose my transition and then drag it into my timeline. Now I will choose footage A and then by using Ctrl Shift D, I will cut the footage so that I can start working with mat for the transition. From the track mat, I'm going to select alpha mat. As you can see, the mat is applied and the transition is working. All that is left is the flames. To add them, I'm gonna duplicate my transition in here using the Ctrl D. Remember to mute the duplicated transition. Finally, change the blending mode to screen and it is all done. As a bonus, I'm gonna teach you how to change the color of the flames. Go to the effects menu and search for hue saturation. Then drag it onto the top transition effect. Now, by changing the master hue dial, you can easily change the color of your flames based on the style of your video. And this was today's tutorial. If you like the pack we use in this video, you can easily get it from the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and as always, like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for more tutorials.